Hello everyone, I am Ash. This is Ash's Laboratory using the Feed the Beast Monster Pack. Welcome back to the new lab. Oh, what an intense, exciting day it's going to be. I'm just kidding. We're going to cook stuff. And it's not meth. Unfortunately, it's not going to be meth. It's going to be ores. That's what we're going to be doing today. I will tell you more about that once we go over what's going on around the new building, the new facilities. Uh, as you can see, the monstrosity that is this sorting, quote-unquote, sorting system, I use that tentatively, is still ongoing. Uh, I've been able to remove maybe four or five chests from this system because those are empty. The rest are still with child, or with shit. Um, it's temporary until I can get them all moved inside to where it's going to be properly. Um, I just wanted to basically condense things down so they're easily gone through once it's, once it's that in time. It's like when you move, you have all these boxes, and if you don't mark them down, you have to go through them all uh, and maybe put them in the like one room, and then you have to move them into the right room as you go through. So you want to have like boxes with central rooms on them, and then you ride it on the top. It's sort of like riding on the top of, the, of your boxes with, uh, with Sharpie. That's what that is doing, uh, ineffectually. L let me just say it's ineffectual. Okay, so as you can see in my inventory, it's full of shit, but mostly it's full of ender pearls. What an exciting thing to have your inventory filled with. Oh my fuck God! Oh, and and uh, well, the reason I have ender pearls is because I somehow my idiocy, I not only destroyed several important things whenever I used our uh, build craft filler to delete this chunk basically um, which is how if you if you missed last episode I went through a really nice nice I say that maybe perhaps boring uh, tour of the facilities um, that we built last episode so you know if you watch that that the way I was able to build this and clear this area of the old house was by using a build craft filler I left a bunch of stuff inside thinking, well, everything that's inside is not really important. It's like crafting benches and old school furnaces and stuff. And uh, I was like, well, that doesn't matter. But as it turns out, I might have forgotten not only a few important machines, which I've rebuilt, but also the ender chest that we had inside, which was full of ender pearls. So in order to, not only then, uh, not only that, but I need to build two. I need to build one for the Ender Pearl access, and also I need to build one for a new thing we're going to do, which is going to be, actually I need to build three. Well, shit my pants, call me a little baby that shits in his pants, because I need to build three. I'm going to build one out here, I'm going to build one up uh, inside, downstairs, and I'm going to build one in general. I don't know where I'm going to put it that'll have access to the Ender Pearls because that one's deleted. Um, otherwise, I'm going to fly or teleport back over there with our with our book um, and go get some more. But I've grabbed these before the episode started so that you guys wouldn't have to watch me teleport over there using our books, our Mistcraft books. And we now have some Ender Pearls grabbed. And also um, some of the, some leftover Enderium ingots because we're probably going to need those at some point as well. Um, I used a lot of the Ender pearls, um, which I replenished with uh, by standing in the Ender farm and letting it farm some more um, to make some more tesseracts. And now most of the floors, not the top floor, but this floor has power with the tesseract in the floor. I said last episode that I was thinking about uh, making the, the floors thicker so that we can hide um, wires and stuff inside of them. And actually, if I open this up, it's a secret. Look at this. Using the carpenter's um, hatch, you can use you can make a trap door kind of door and make it look however you want. So I have a little trap door. It gives me access to the tesseract on this floor. If I go down, um, I don't know if I put, if I did, yeah, I did this one too. Um, you can see I can get quick access. So in the center, just beneath the elevators on most of the floors, there's a test rack. That way I can wire it beneath the floor. Like these are wired and you wouldn't even know it. Um, also, what's cool about these test racks, if I go to the bottom floor, I can show you guys some cool stuff. Um, well, look in the right corner. Where is that son of a bitch? Here it is over here. You can see there's an actually door here. If I go down, 
the the cool thing about um, these hatches compared to the Minecraft standard trap doors is that they actually act as ladders. So if I go over the top of it, you can sort of barely tell that I kind of slow down. It's because it thinks I'm I'm walking over the top of a ladder, and the reason that's cool is because now you can just climb it as a ladder. I have two ladders here, and it just climbs right up, and I didn't even know that. But goddamn, it's amazing. And down here on the bottom, I had so much room because there's not another floor to deal with beneath this. I just dug out a whole bunch of area. And this is basically what every floor in between floors looks like. It has a test rack beneath the elevator. Then it has four arms that go out to each wall of the square. That way I can easily wire up anything I put on any floor. So that's what this looks like. That's uh, what the power system is, situation is. And of course, they're all linked up. The Tesseracts are all linked up to the energy supplied by our lava power plant. Um, if we, and really, there's not, not the only thing really using power all the time is the ME system. And it's not using that much. I think it actually might only use energy. It's probably using a little bit of energy just to store stuff. But it probably doesn't, doesn't really use too much until you start using it to craft things. Um, and this, this stuff only uses power when we actually use it, which is rarely nowadays, because we've already really gotten all the stuff we want, except we do need to put, actually on our list right now, to add um, lava proof. Lava proof our DNA. Because that's really the only power other than the ones we have already that I really want. And it'll let us not die in lava if we fall in, which is always something I tend to do. It's just one of my... It's my kryptonite. Falling in, The act of falling into lava is my kryptonite. Which is probably most people's kryptonite. If you fall into lava. Other than Superman, ironically, you die. Other than Superman. Okay, so um, we need to build these chests. So let's check and see how to build a damn ender chest again. You're looking for the ender storage one. It is a... Oh, these might actually be in issues. So we might actually not be able to build these. And I think we only have like a few. Yeah, we only have a few blaze rods. I tried, I tried, guys. I tried building a damn a blaze farm in the nether around a, uh, a blaze spawn. But unless you actually get a spawner yourself, or take a really long time to start building around the one that's in the nether, which I guess I could do. If I just lit it up really well, I could do whatever I wanted, I guess. Um, and you have to do it with where they like fall into like a freaking piston trap. It's really uh, technical and stuff. You can't just do the thing I did with the ender farm and just put some cactuses. They just don't die enough. Um, so we only have ender. We only have three. Which, it takes four. Shit. I am going to have to do this manually, guys. I've shit the bed here. We're going to have to start doing this manually. Which means I'm going to have to put some stuff away. I'm going to have to remember that some of this stuff is here in this chest because I need room enough room at least to um, to carry some ores with us and this isn't a really a big job we don't have a really we don't have a lot of ore to cook I was just hoping to, to sort of uh, not have to do any of it really I need to take these well, almost all of it in there, and we have some in there t in those three chests too, because those are the chests from the quarry. I'm going to set up a third quarry this time. I will not do it in the desert, because it's proven to be an issue, uh, doing that sort of thing in the desert. Now, I can just put this down, and um, put these in there. Yes, okay, okay. And I'm going to cook these first. Um, let's put these in. Some pulverized lead in there. What are these? Lead ingot? God damn it, I hate that. Um, there's a good chance, though, maybe I could just convert it somehow. Is there a way to do that? No. Yeah, there is actually. Thermal expansion and industrial craft. I could just convert it with the uh, ingot, with these things. 
by turning it into nuggets first and then converting it back into that. How do you, what is this good for? Uh, just need to put it in. I need to put crafting benches on each floor until the plan is to have a crafting or have a terminal in the corner of every room or maybe even by the elevator of every room that lets us access remotely the uh, computer on the bottom floor and then have that in every building too like have one in our magic place have one in the farm and have the wires run underneath underneath the earth so that at every place we go we can always access the central storage uh, computer and that would be the tightest it would be dopest it would be methamphetamines that's how dope it would be um, so I'm going to turn this baby on in a minute after we cook the the dust that I have currently in my inventory start to like upgrade these furnaces can you put like a special upgrade on them I don't, I don't think that there, there is uh, what is this it's thermal expansion thermal like expansion let's see what we got um, just some base the machines we already have. I did tell one of you guys that I have plans to build all these machines, like the aqueous accumulator, the glacial precipitator. One of you guys said that we could just create snow with this thing, and I know we could, but at the time I was just I didn't want to build an extra machine, and really it's really easy to make, but it was just as easy to fly over to the next door um, thing. But I'm gonna have all this stuff. The thermal expansion is one of my favorite mods. I assure you we're going to go fully into this bastard and do all the stuff. I am curious, though. I don't think there is a way, but I am curious to see if there's a way to upgrade these machines to make them faster. If not, I guess we could just make another one. It doesn't look like there's any sort of upgrade that you can right-click on it with. So... No big deal, though. All right, so this thing is now done with that, so we're going to put pulverized tin in there. Now we can start this, so I'm going to go ahead and find a lever. I'm going to go make a lever, I guess. Actually, I could make it in my uh, inventory, I think. Oh, I can't. I need some stone. All right, I need some stone. I can't remember if it's cobblestone. I think it's cobblestone. Yes, it's any sort of cobblestone, okay? All right, let's go upstairs. I love the elevators. They're the best. Open blocks, my new favorite mod. I love that shit. Everything it adds is amazing and handy and not overpowered, but really handy. All right, let's get some, some cobblestone out of here. All right, we're going to make a lever for that freaking item duct. And then we're going to turn it on and let it start crushing up ores. And I guess once we get all the ores, sorry, I get confused if I should go up or down. I still haven't gotten my wits about me with that. All right, so we're going to put the lever above the pipe, the item duct, and start it with the... Oh, shit, I hate that. I, that's why I put the inverted lamp on that one. But it doesn't matter, though, really. Okay, so I guess uh, we'll wait for... These are they doing things, pulverizer? Are you gonna do things, buddy? Are you gonna do things for me? Are you gonna do things for me? It should be it should work. This should work. Oh, I'm stupid. I need to put this like so. Boom. That should do it. If it doesn't do it, then I am at a complete loss. I am at a complete loss. Should turn it off and on, maybe? It might take a second to realize that it can actually put stuff in here, but it, um, really, it should work. Item ducks have been giving me, giving me a lot of problems lately. Let me just say, they have been giving me a lot of probs. This thing, I don't have to have a redstone on because the, uh, the uh, pulverizer is one of the machines that automatically can push stuff out. I don't know why, really, but it is. It's sort of like the quarry, where the quarry is going to shoot shit out regardless, so you don't have to put a pump or anything to, to pull stuff out. This, on the other hand, should actually be fucking working. I don't know why it isn't. Maybe I should destroy this and replace it like this, and then...
Is it trying to pull something that's just not working? Uh, I don't know, guys. I mean, it, the, any of these ores should be easily pulverized. All this thing does is it searches the other end to see if there's an, a valid inventory for these stuff, the stuff to go into. And uh, pulverizer, this slot in the pulverizer should be perfect for it. I've never had any issues with this before. I don't know why it's not working. Oh well. All right, so it's it's almost it's cooking the silver now. Okay, I'm going to stop it for a second and let it cook this stuff. Yeah, it's doing things. It's doing stuff, guys. Okay, let's go. We'll leave it. We'll leave it and come back and see why it's not working. Um, later, but for now, let's look at our ch our list because I added process ores to the list so that we would do stuff so that when we do this, it would in fact be doing something on the list. I guess that's cheating, really. Uh, but it is something really important. Um, I don't think I'm going to do this for now. It's going to be... If I put an X by it, we'll say that it's delayed for a really long time in the future. Um, armor, actually, is something we could look into, guys. Armor is something we could look into. Because we can make some... Maybe we make some power armor. This stuff would be cool. Uh, it's always nice. Uh, and we get to make this sweet-ass power armor tinker's table and put it somewhere awesome. We also have the battle mage armor and stuff from Ars Magica, which I don't think... We probably don't have the stuff for yet, really. Um, but it would be cool to have an armor stand over there with this stuff on it. That'd be awesome. Um, we have all the standard armors uh, of the default Minecraft, of course. We also have the quantum armor, uh, the nano suit stuff, which is good, but really tedious. Industrial craft has always been one of my least favorite mods, and up until this era of Feed the Beast, really, it's always been really prominent, like you always needed to do it, but other stuff has taken its place, including the modular power suit armor, which I think is what we're going to go with. I don't know why I sang it, but we still actually do need industrial craft for it. It's just we don't need quite as much because all the materials you are really going to need to make that makes this, this, this suit expensive is actually in the upgrades you put in after you build the armor. So we just need a lot of copper, rubber, redstone, and uh, iron. We also need to build the machines that will let us compress the iron. Oh, look at this. You can use a forge hammer instead of having to have the machines, but we're not about that. Uh, we got a metal metal former. What the hell? This is new. Metal former or a hammer. And I am not about to use a hammer on this shit when I am a scientist. So let's look up the metal former. We're, we're starting something new. Are you shitting in my pants again? This is like the second time that you guys have shat in my pants again. This episode. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, there's so much to do with this. A toolbox. Oh, good grief. Bronze item casting. Which you need a fucking metal former to make. I guess you have to make a forge hammer to get started with industrial craft. <sighs> Sigh. Sigh and immensely. Maybe we can't do that. Finish storage systems. We could work on that a little bit. Make offensive spell. Oh, actually that sounds like something I could do now. Let's look and see one more time what is going on with this. Why isn't it working is the question of the day. Maybe I really need a servo in this thing. I didn't think I did. I'm pretty certain I didn't. I think you can either put a servo in it, uh, the pneumatic servo or whatever that says down there beneath. Um, let's try making one and seeing if it works. Servo. Pneumatic servo. 
Um, glass, iron, and redstone. Wow, that's really easy. Let's turn this thing off and even destroy the lever and make one of those things. So it's, um, it's iron, redstone, and glass. Isn't that right? Yes. A couple pieces of iron, a couple pieces of redstone, a couple pieces of glass. Alright, let's get some iron out of here. I can't remember where the button for single pieces is, so I'm going to just Put, take two out. Is there anything else we need out of here? No, we just need some glass from somewhere. I'm going to, while I'm up here, manually put some stuff in so that it'll do something at least. I'm also going to cook that. There we go. Okay, um, so back to the surface. Alright, we need to... Redstone, redstone, redstone is over in this chest. Some redstone, I'm just going to grab a package of it. And uh, glass, do we have any glass in here? I don't think we do. I know we have some random things glass. Uh, which is a bad name for something, really. Um, it's sort of like my favorite band's. My favorite band's name is Brand New. And when you're trying to tell someone about Brand New, they're like, Brand New what? It's like a fucking Who's on Third skit. Um, so Random Things is a mod. It get, this is a glass block. It should be interchangeable with normal glass blocks, but this block can be colored with dye. It's the only thing. Uh, so it really screwed me over and clogged up the system, but it also is kind of interesting. So um, we need a crafting table. That's what we need. We need a crafting table, which we have one in our magic place. If we couldn't fly, this episode would be completely and utterly tedious if I had to run over here. So let's go ahead and make this. Redstone, where? In the middle. And then two iron ingots. Boom, pneumatic servo. Now we need to fly back to the lab. I'm actually very happy with how this lab turned out. Normally, I'm happy when I'm building it, and then, like, the next day I look at it, I'm like, oh, shit, this is looking terrible, and I'm never happy with how it turns out. Like, there's certain parts of the magic place that I really don't like, but it's too late now, and actually, most of that stuff's grown on me, but, I mean, if I could change it, I'd probably end up knocking the whole place down doing it over again. All right, I've added a pneumatic servo to this thing. I just need to figure out how to do this, okay? Uh, blacklist, use metadata, use or dictionary, um, use ignore NBT, ignored, low, high. Um, control status enabled, signal required high. If it's going to work, it's going to work. So, if I, what about I do this? It go. It looks brighter. High or low. See, if I turn it on low, then it automatically turns on, it looks like. So this should work if it's going to work, but it doesn't look like it's going to work. I don't know why, but it isn't. It just isn't. Uh, the servo should make it so that it pumps things. Uh, what if I turn it ignored, and then I turn it on high? High turns it off, ignored. I think it's a controlling... No, it isn't. Okay, um... This should work. Um, I don't have any filters. The redstone control tab configures how... Configures how this device reacts to redstone signals. This shouldn't be an issue. Um, click on this. Set the filtering for this connection of the item duct. All connections have uh, separate filtering, so make sure you select the right one. Use ID, blacklist, whitelist. Uh, this shouldn't be anything. It shouldn't be anything. Um, if we have it on it and we don't have a filter in it, it should pull out everything if it's going to. I am thinking about knocking this chest down. And um, replacing it. I don't know it's going to work or anything, but... Maybe it will. In fact, I'm just going to put one down. I'm going to put one chest down. I know this is stupid. It should work. If it's going to work, it should. But I'm going to attempt to make this work. Um, shit, I didn't mean to do that. 
maybe it needs to be above it. What the hell is that? Why is it doing that now? Oh, that's what it is. It's mo it's working now. It's moving it out of the thing into this chest. But it will not accept the freaking pulverizer. What the fuck, dude? And this iron wasn't doing anything the entire time either. What the hell, bro? All right. All right, we're going to figure you out. It's clearly... Wait, it's working now. What the fuck, dude? Oh my god. I have no idea. I have no fucking clue. It's working now.